Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing how you can connect an access control system to a fire alarm system. Conveniently, these two are very close together. So this will just be showing you how you can do it. Now, the reason you'd want that to be is you may want your doors, like this one, to have an electronic strike plate and an RFID reader on them. You would want them to unlock if the fire alarms go off. Now that's mostly on interior doors, so people could exit the building if there's interior doors partitioning, but even on the outside door, you might want that so you could have quicker access into the building. I actually got a question a while ago asking how you can do that, so today is gonna be the time that I make a video, and this is an addressable fire alarm system, meaning each single device has its own, has its own address, as you can see it's flashing when it's communicating, but that doesn't matter. It could be a conventional system or addressable. Basically any type of fire alarm system will be able to do what we need this to do. Addressable though, on the other hand, gives you a few more options on how you can do it. Basically it's gonna operate the same way, but there's a different way you can do it with addressable, which I will get into. As far as wiring goes, you'll only need a two conductor wire. So right here, these two terminals right here, that is, um. Those terminals are your request to exit terminals. So basically if that terminal, if those terminals get connected together, it will open up the door and it's already connected to a key switch right here to open the door in the unblocked, in the locked position or leave it in the open position. But that basically doesn't matter because that's existing. That really doesn't have anything to do with this. So I'll show you how that works. Basically if these get touched together, you'll hear a click. And now the door's open, and then it locks again after because I left it, I took it off. But if it stays on there, if it stays connected to both terminals, as you can see the, oops, I let go. A little tricky here with one hand. So that, that light comes on, the door one open light comes on indicating that the doors. So as you can see, if I hold it on, it stays open and then it locks. So basically what we need to do is we need a way to have the fire alarm panel do that for us. So the way that we're gonna be doing that is if we open the fire alarm panel, there's relays on the panel right here are three relays. These are programmable, but we want it set to an alarm relay. So if the alarms go off the door, gets open. When it's an addressable system like this, you could also run it off a control module. So that would be a little relay that gets powered off the SLC and will close or open the circuit. But we don't need to do that since this is so close together, so close to the fire alarm system, there's not really any benefit to doing it that way. I'm gonna run some wire up through there, out of here, and into the fire alarm panel that I put this grommet in right here so it won't short on the panel or anything. So, and we'll connect it up there. So let's get our wire. Here's a small piece of the fire alarm wire I'm gonna be using, it's three conductor, 18 gauge. Here we go, so now we just have to strip our outer sheathing off of here. And now that your outer sheathing is stripped off, I will wanna strip off the ends of the wires a little bit on both ends and install them into the terminal. On this panel here, the, the default is the middle relay is default an alarm relay. And we want to have it on common and normally open. So we'll go on the two far sides and there's no polarity. one wire there. We don't want too much insulation sticking out so it can't short on anything. And our positive 
go in the other terminal. There we go. Now down here, we will do the same thing, but into these two terminals. So now that we're wired up down there and wired up here on the relay, the next thing we will want to do is test our system to make sure the door opens when your alarms go off. I'm gonna pull this pull station right here and I will spin the camera around so you can watch that light come on. I can silence the system because the door will stay like that until it's reset, until the system's reset. And instead of having to turn the handle, it's open. Unlocked. So, it will stay in this position until the system's reset. I'll hit reset. And in a few moments, it will It'll reset. There we go, back locked again. Waiting for the system to initialize here, I will reset our pulse station before it goes off again. Well guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Any comments or questions, leave those in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.